Hey, everybody, if you listen closely, you can hear my dog drinking water. But it's okay. He's thirsty, he's got to get hydrated. Anyway, this is a video about staying motivated. As you know, I am a new freelancer, lifestyle entrepreneur, what do you want to call it? YouTuber, of course, yes. Blogger, content creator, and with anything, motivation is something that's always tricky. Staying inspired, staying motivated. And so I thought I would share a little video, give you some, some of the things that keep me motivated. And I would love if you could also share your suggestions as well in the comment section below. Maybe you received some great advice on how to stay motivated. Please let me know, I'd love to hear from you. As always, please subscribe if you have not. Don't forget to click the little bell for your notifications to make sure you get my videos and like it, share it. Yes, why not? Here we go. How do I stay motivated? Well, It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to stay motivated and it's different because I'm not one of those people who get scared easily. I always like to say I have no fear. That's always my thing. No fear. What's the worst thing that can happen? However, sometimes I suffer from being overwhelmed and I get in my head a lot and I get really down and so forth and so those are the times where you have to find something from inside and push through to stay motivated so it's not that I don't have goals it's not that I am afraid because sometimes people have analysis or rather they're afraid to move ahead but I just get confused so here are some of the things for me in terms of staying motivated. I often remind myself about why I'm doing this particular thing. Why did I leave my job in the first place? When I'm starting to think about, oh gosh, maybe I should just have stayed, or oh, I wish I would just work in a bank. That's my favorite thing to say. I should wish I worked in a bank or at a, a library or something just day in, day out, nine to five, kind of easy. But then I remind myself about how I felt when I was, you know, back in my job or the reasons why I left and why I'm doing what I want to do. And that always brings things back into focus. So you always have to make sure you have a strong why. You always have to make sure you write down your, your why you're doing things. And writing it down is important so you can reflect on all of those things and you're like, oh yeah, that's true. I did used to feel like X, Y, Z. Oh yes, that's true. This one did say I can't do it. Oh, uh-huh. I did say that because I want to, you know, show my sister and, and my younger siblings how to, you know, do things for themselves or whatever the case may be. Yes, I want to buy a house for my mom. Yes, that's right. I want to be able to own a car or whatever, right? So remind yourself, and that's for me what works mostly. I also stay motivated by keeping a close circle of people who are there for me, people who understand my strengths, people who uplift me, people who are encouraging, because as we all know, there are people who are energy suckers and people who don't, you know, they're just people who are just not necessarily motivating. It's not that they're negative, but you don't necessarily feel motivated after conversation with them. So quickly identify who those people are and identify the people who make you feel like you could take on the whole world. Because very often those are the people who, who know you best. And sometimes you have to find strength in other people because other people tell you why you're great and why you should keep going and remind you of why you're doing it. So keep that close circle of friends and family. I'm very fortunate that I have you know, my husband and my family and siblings and good friends and I know not everybody has that but online in some cases is a great place for you to stay connected to like-minded individuals as well so sometimes joining communities on Facebook or Facebook rather or different forums or chat groups and so forth is another great way to you know stay motivated within a group but that's always worked well for me friends family that kind of thing Another way I stay motivated is to remind myself 
about times, rough patches, hardships that I've gone through in the past, similar situations where I thought the world is coming to an end. This problem is the biggest problem of all and I'm not gonna be able to overcome it. And then you think about, oh shit, remember that last time the other thing happened and I thought I was done. I thought, you know, I could never get over this one thing, but then you did. And you look back at it now and sometimes you could laugh, sometimes you feel like crying, but most times, most times really and truly, you're grateful for what you learned, the lessons that you could take away from that particular thing, whether it was heartbreak or whatever. You always learn something and you always come out okay, right? Did the worst thing ever happen? I know they say this a lot, but you have to kind of remind us yourself and look back and say, remember when you felt like that, like that and you remember two months later things worked out or you got over it? That's how I stay motivated. I think about that stuff. I like to look at people who I admire and look at videos, listen to audio, see what they did in times of strife and struggle and indecision and negativity and lack of motivation. What did they do to get through those times? And it's always, you know, and I find that in various stories, whether it's like, oh, so-and-so, you know, Colonel Sanders didn't do his thing till his late 60s or whatever. I often talk, say to my husband like, oh, this one didn't have a song for like 15 years. We haven't talked about so-and-so for so long and then now she's coming back and she has a big song again. I see life is cyclical. I know that my time will come. I always trust God's timing. And so when I think about it that way, I always stay motivated because things have a way of, of coming back around. Um, but what I was really talking about is looking at examples of people who can motivate me and who are inspiring. So that's another thing that I can I do. Reading, mostly watching videos because I don't read a whole lot, but from people who inspire me. I mentioned before that I get overwhelmed quite easily because I want these people where I just have to take on 800 billion things and I gotta do this and I gotta do that, but this has to be done as well and then I just get overwhelmed and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I always say, just do today. Just do today. And then you just kind of like do today, make a little list and then focus on tomorrow. So if you, I, I keep saying that to myself over and over in my head, just do today, just do today. And believe it or not, that motivates me to just do today and get through all the steps that need to, done, to be done just for today. You know what I mean? Don't think about tomorrow or next week, next month. Don't think about yesterday or last year or how oh, that's affecting you. Just do today. And that's one thing that motivates me a lot recently. Another thing is momentum. I like to just keep going. And just do today is similar to that as well because like you keep that momentum going. It's all physics, although I was really bad at it. Sorry, Mr. DeFreitas, who was my physics teacher in high school. I was never that great. But there's something, some physics thing, I'm gonna find it. Some law about momentum. I'm gonna find it and put it somewhere here about momentum and moving forward <laughs> but it's so true at the same time though and I was just talking to my friend Carlin Purcell about this that she always says that there is still movement in silence because I'm a person who I find motivation through momentum but very often sometimes you have to take a pause to reassess and to you know just figure out the next steps and so she says even when you take a pause there's still movement there so movement is still in silence you know what i mean but um those are some of the things that motivate me but that's a talker let's talk about that discuss in the comments i want to hear what you think about that in the comments about mode momentum versus taking breaks speaking of which i recently took like a five day it was five day cleanse or i didn't go on social media for five days and that was really eye-opening I found, and I think I'm going to do a whole video on this when I fully bring all the thoughts and everything into perspective, but I found that 
sometimes the social media and yes a big part of my job now is social media but sometimes it distracts me in the sense that I'm scrolling through it's first of all it's a time waster it's distracting in the sense that it gives me other ideas in a positive way but if you're a person who easily gets overwhelmed and takes on different ideas it's not a good thing because then I get some other idea oh yeah shoot I should do that you know wait why don't do that thing boy what she doing let me do the same thing there boy and then all of a sudden it's overwhelming so that's what social media does to me sometimes I get depressed because then I'm like oh he's doing that I'm not even there yet oh why can't I do that what is wrong with me so then it's a whole other it's, it does stuff so I took a break to allow myself to focus. It allowed me to focus and give me so much more clarity in regard to just doing today and the tasks that I had to get done uh, for the five days. So that was another great way to stay motivated because sometimes social media can do those things that I mentioned, distract you, make you depressed, make you compare yourself or, or want to take on more. So uh, social media, taking a break from social media, perhaps sometimes could be motivating if you look at it that way. Yeah, so taking a break in general, whether it's from social media or just from the grind. Sometimes you just need to change your environment. That's another one, staying motivated. You change your environment, you get a new lease on your goals and your dreams and the tasks at hand. I know I say that a lot, but uh, changing your environment via taking a break is another thing that helps me stay motivated. I could go on and on, people. I could keep going on and on and on because I feel motivated just talking about what motivates me. So thank you very much for spurring this and, and stimulating this, this great feeling. Please, I'd like to hear your tips as well below in the comment section. Always great to hear from you. Please subscribe and share this video with others because I think it's important for us to motivate each other and it comes back to you as well threefold. So just be motivated and inspired. Thank you for watching.